Are you hungry? Give me something, something good. Hi, and welcome to another episode of Girl Cut. Today we're not really cooking, but we're making a condiment. We're making furikake, which is um, in essence Japanese rice seasoning. Uh, you can use it to season your onigiri, rice, and things like that. But you could also use it for so many other things. You could use it for a soft boiled egg instead of salt, or a fried egg, or an avocado toast. It has so many uses, and it's basically just a seasoning packed with umami. But before we have a look at the ingredients, as always, if you're not a subscriber yet, and I know a lot of you aren't, hit the subscribe button and check the bell icon so that you get notifications every Tuesday when a new episode comes online. But now, let's have a look at the ingredients. We're going to need some nori leaves, probably three of them, and 40 grams of katsubushi. We're also going to need kombu, it's 40 grams. I've already soaked them so that they're soft. We're going to need some white sesame seeds, some brown sugar, a bit of salt, some soya sauce, some rice vinegar, and some mirin. But the first thing we need to do is to prep the kombu and also we'll make the mix of the liquids together with the sugar. So let's start with the kombu. And the first thing we'll do, we'll just need to slice this up. Just relatively thin slices like that. I'll see you when that's done. So we're done with that. The next thing we need to do is to mix up our liquids. Now we start with our sugar, three tablespoons. And I'm gonna have quite a lot of salt, probably a tablespoon. And we'll go for our soy sauce, three tablespoons. Our mirin, two tablespoons. And last but not least, our vinegar, one tablespoon. And we'll just dissolve the salt and the sugar. That's good, we can put this away. And basically the rest happens over there. We're first gonna toast off the nori and the katsubushi. Give them a bit of a yeah, toasty flavor, sounds stupid, but also to dry them out a bit. And then we're gonna basically fry everything together. We put our liquid in the pan with kombu, and it's gonna evaporate. We'll put in the nori and the katsubushi and our um, sesame seed. Our sesame seed is already toasted, but if you don't have toasted sesame seed, toast the sesame seed first, because it needs that toasted flavor. But let's move over there and get on with it. So we'll start off with our katsubushi and I'll just show you. You can just go through it like this and make it a bit smaller. And put your pan on medium heat. So it looks like that when you're done. And we'll do the same with our three leaves of nori. Just break it down with your hands. And now we can toast our nori and our katsubushi together. And I love katsubushi. You see what happens when it's uh, when it uh, sees heat? It starts dancing. Basically what we're doing, we're just drying it out a bit more and giving it a little bit of yeah, toasted flavor. You don't want it to burn, so just continue moving it around. It's an incredible smell from this. So, we're ready. We'll put this to the side. You don't have to clean out the pan. So we exchanged the katsubushi and the nori for our kombu and for the liquid. And still on medium heat. I need to add a little bit of water to this. Just so that it doesn't dry out too quickly. I just want to tenderize the kombu a bit. And if you do this in a smaller frying pan, you might not need to add water, but since this has such a big surface, the, the other liquids would have evaporated before we were done. So. so this has been cooking away now for a couple of minutes, so we can add back our katsubushi and our nori. 
it sucks up all that good liquid flavor. And now we want to make sure that we dry this out. We can add in our sesame seeds as well. Now most recipes you'll see they'll probably add the nori at the last stage. But I prefer just to put everything in at once. Doesn't make a huge difference. Well, it doesn't make any difference basically. Now we just make sure that we dry all of this out and then it needs to cool down. And then basically our furikake is done. So we turn off the heat, remove it from the heat, and we'll let it cool down. I'll see you in a bit. So our furikake mix has cooled down. Just gonna give it a try. Umami bomb. Now at this stage you can mix in a bit of salt and we're gonna do that. Just a good pinch. And just mix it in with your hand. I will also put in some more sesame seeds. But furikake is one of these things, anything goes. Whatever you prefer, you can put some dried shiitake in there. You can put a bit of chili in there if you want it a bit spicy. Mix and match as you please. Let's give this another try. Perfect. And now just grab a glass jar that you have at home. We're going to need a couple of them. And just fill it up with the furikake. And this will keep nicely for quite a while. That's our furikake. And for tasting and photography purposes, we'll just put some in a bowl as well. I will give this a try. Obviously this is not a dish that you normally just eat with a spoon, but since I always taste what I'm making. This, just like on a Sunday morning, soft boiled egg, a bit of furikake on it. Magic. And as I said, you can play. You can add more sesame, you can add some black sesame as well. Mix it up a bit, do what you feel works. There's also the, the bright green seaweed. You can add a bit of that if you want, some dried chili. Hmm. Anything goes, it's up to you what you enjoy most. But this for me is a great basis that you can add or remove from. Well, not remove, but you can add to it. That's it for this time, relatively short video. Furikake, the seasoning mix, well, the only seasoning mix that you actually need. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below if you did. Don't forget, subscribe, check the bell icon. That's it for today. Take care. Bye-bye.